Damon Wayans had a successful career and was a highly sought after actor in the late 90s. He was fired from SNL and had a few failed ventures. In this video, we'll chronicle his career from Banana Man to Lethal Weapon. Damon followed his brother's lead and began the stand-up career of his own in 1982. He studied the craft in the clubs for a few years. In 1984, Damon landed his first movie role, playing Banana Man in Beverly Hills Cop. The part was small, but the character was an early version of a character Damon would later I need later a couple of bananas. Develop. How much are they? Well, the buffet plate is twelve fifty. You get peaches, plums, oranges, and bananas. Well, all I need is a couple of bananas. Take those bananas. In 1985, Damon joined the cast of Saturday Night Live, which seemed like a dream job at the time. It was the first year without Eddie Murphy, and Lorne Michaels had rejoined the series. It wasn't long, though, before Damon grew frustrated with his role on SNL. All his sketches were being rejected, and he spent most of the time playing straight, the complete opposite of an Eddie Murphy. He was later told that this was done to protect him from being labeled an Eddie Murphy knockoff. Damon's frustrations came to a head in a sketch, Mr. Monopoly. He was playing a cop who pretty much just stood there. They had me in scenes with uh, where I would just hold a spear, and I'm like, I'm not doing that. My mother's going to watch this show. No, could, no lines, just holding a spear in, in a <laughs> thong. I'm like, I, ain't, I can't do this. I said, y'all need to hire an extra for this. And so they told me, you're not a team player. I said, no, I'm just not a slave. So my <laughs> my my frustration and, the con you know, we just kept getting into it, me and Lauren Michaels. So, you know, the final straw was this sketch called Mr. Monopoly, where we was doing a spoof on Miami Vice. So we'd have dress rehearsal and then we'd have the air show. So between dress and air, Lauren comes to me and goes, you look like a pimp in that suit. I want you to change it to a cop's uniform. And I just like snap because the sketch wasn't funny. And now you want to put me in a cop suit. And I was feeling, you know, I was feeling really Dougie in my suit. You right. know I mean, I had the Miami Vice joint. I'm like, okay, I can get through this. And so I was just like, you know what? I'm done. And I just flipped characters. It was. <laughs> so how did you turn the character? What game? was that reaction like? I just, there? I was a cop in a suit when you just go, you know, I don't even know what I said. I, was, yeah. I did it out of anger. So it wasn't really funny. It mm -hmm. was just like this. Well, never mind. Right. So did people laugh? <laughs> no. Oh. You think if people would have laughed, it'd have been different? Like you would have proved something to Lauren? Like yeah, but I, I did it with the wrong spirit, and he was right to let me go. He's right to fire me. He fired me on the spot. You still speak to him? From 1986 to 1990, Damon appeared in eight films, notably Hollywood Shuffle and I'm Gonna Get You Sucker, both of which had Brother Keenan as a writer. Put those back on the couch where you found. That's right, pick all that shit up. All of it, and puff these pillows up too, man. You stupid, come here. Come here. What are you gonna go mess the nice lady's house up for, man? All it did, you told me when we came in to beat her up, and that's not right. I ain't tell you and shit like that. Next would come one of Damon's most memorable jobs in Living Color. He was finally able to bring these characters he had developed to life. Damon broke away in 1992. He wrote and starred in the film Mo Money, alongside little brother Marlon. Hey, let me see it. Will you stop it? You act like a little mosquito in my ear. Yeah, we didn't say that last night, now did you? Oh, don't make me have to read you, little miss thing. You was like a little mosquito somewhere else. So anyway, how much is something like that? His next big project was Blank Man, where he co-wrote and starred in, alongside in Living Color alum, David Allen Greer. Damon Wayans Jr. also appeared in the film as a young Kevin. Other notable films in this Damon era include The Last Boy Scout, Major Pain, Celtic Pride, The Great White Hype, and Bulletproof. In 1998, Damon had his first sitcom, Damon. It was about a Chicago detective and his wacky co-workers, but unfortunately the show was canceled after one season. In 2001, Damon made his second sitcom, My Wife and Kids. This time, though, he hit gold, and the series ran for five oh, seasons. Reason. What are you saying? <laughs> I'm just psychotic. Did I just go berserk at the drop of a dime? A 
Well, it... Shut up! His son, Damon Wayans Jr., appeared on the show, and his nephew, Dante Wayans, was a director. In 2006, Damon developed a sketch comedy show, The Underground, on Showtime, which ran for one season. This was pretty much the introduction of Damon Wayans Jr. In 2016, Damon returned to network TV with the series Lethal Weapon, which ran for three seasons. Although at first it seemed that Damon was riding his big brother's coattails to stardom, he was actually forging his own path for his own family on the way to success. As always, thanks for checking us out and head over to our channel for more. We feature movie reviews, celeb bios, wrestling news, and entertainment specials. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more videos just like this.